having a solid bow hold is the key to having a very good sound while playing the violin. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the role of the index finger on the right hand, where it should be placed, and how much weight or pressure you can need to apply in order to produce a good sound on the violin. Stick around to the end of the video, you don't want to miss this. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric. I do violin tutorials and violin how-to videos on this channel to help you become a better violinist. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Let's take a look at this first finger over here, this index finger. Just the other day, I had a student grip their index finger over the stick of the bow a little bit this way. And notice how my hand shape is quite different when I grip this first finger over the stick this way. I know that there are a lot of people who do Russian bow grip this way, which, you know, for me, I am of the schooling of a Franco-Belgian bow grip, which means it's a little bit more balanced. But you know, this is not illegal also. However, what is, is when you start gripping this finger over the stick, this can cause a lot of problems down the road. Let's hear some of the sound differences in, you know, over gripping the stick of the bow and just having a regular bow hold. So this is me over gripping the stick And my sound is quite harsh. You know, I have a microphone very close to me, but if I, I'm putting a lot of weight and pressure on this finger without trying because it's hooked, because I'm gripping it, I'm pressing and squeezing this, this index finger over here. Just right off the bat, I'm also feeling a little bit of tension on the top of my hand. So let's also take a look at how a regular bow hold would look like. This is a Franco-Belgian bow hold. You know, if, uh, if you're not familiar with what a Franco-Belgian bow hold is, I'm gonna leave a card right up here for you to take a look at some of the pros and cons for a Franco-Belgian bow hold. Great, so let's do a regular A. This is how my bow hold is. I'm not, I'm not gripping over the stick. I'm just letting the the fleshy part of my index finger over here touch the thumb leather i also like to use this thumb leather for this for the index finger here because it provides like a solid grip when i'm doing down bows another common problem with beginner violinists is that they don't understand yet how much weight they need to use their hand to hold the violin bow because in the end the violin is holding the bow right? If without, without the violin, the bow will simply go down. So we don't have to squeeze for dear life. I know if you're a violin teacher like me, you probably have seen maybe once or twice how, you know, musicians and students are trying to figure out how to hold their bow before they put it on the violin. I recommend going on the violin first and then adjusting ever so slightly how the bow should be. So in this case, I'm going to put the bow, let's say, you know, I'm having a you know, very bad bow grip. I'm gripping over the index finger here. This is what we don't want. Because I have the support of the violin, I can adjust my hand as so. This is very important because this is gonna help you with a nicer sound. It's not, we call this pronation. We're pronating too much to the index finger and we get this really aggressive sound without trying. It's because we're leaning more into the index finger this way. But notice what I'm doing with my right hand. I'm actually supinating to the right. And again, pronation and supination, you know, I'm not a doctor, but it's a, it's a medical term where the, the, the twisting of the wrist. So pronation would be going towards the index finger, supination would be going the other way. So we want to see if you can, yeah, there you go. If I, I'm pronating this way into the index finger, but with the Russian bow grip and gripping of the finger this way too much, we're pronating and we'll have injuries on the back of the hand in the long run. So if I'm holding my bow this way, then where should this first finger be? Well, let's take a look at our index finger, shall we? So we have these three spaces here divided by these two uh, lines on our finger, right? Ideally, we want this part of the finger, this flesh, to touch the stick. Too much here and we're gonna start gripping it over, over the stick. 
my suggestion is in between these two lines in the middle and instead of doing it this way I'm actually holding the bow with the middle part of my first finger this way and that way I'm going to get a very nice solid bow hold not a bow grip because I feel like the word grip means that we have to press or squeeze or tighten up our hand not necessarily the case I like to say bow hold so that let's say this is gonna have a, a good impact on our bow hold and of course we want all the fingers to be in the correct position so this ring finger is gonna go over the circle of the bow I call it my eye and this eye is gonna be covered by my ring finger this middle finger the second finger and the thumb will be coexisting on the bow they, they'll be touching the bow and they'll be touching each other that's fine and then of course that pinky I like to have a nice round pinky because if I have a straight pinky this way that'll encourage my index finger here to grip on a little more this is a very subtle change in your bow grip but it can make a world of difference if you pay attention my recommendation for you is to get a good solid practice regimen in place so that way you are not feeling discouraged about the bow hold and I actually have a free ebook as my gift to you called the musician's practice guide and all you got to do is sign up down below to get your free copy and this is to help you get organized with your practice regimen feel free to grab that ebook down below and it helps you just find structure based on your your emotional approach towards violin because we always think that we have to start like a very specific way like our teachers have taught us but for me I always want to remind myself why I'm playing the violin and you will see exactly step by step in the which order how you should practice in my personal opinion if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button because that helps people like you get a hold of this video on YouTube it also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you if you don't mind subscribing that'll also help out the channel and if you're interested in more violin tutorials and more violin bow hold tips I'm gonna leave some videos over here and right over here so that way you can click on some specific bow hold videos thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one